Alrighty, what is today's game plan? Hmm. Well, I'm thinking we need some floor bits. We'll have to hack up some stuff, build some floors. And do that firewall, at least the upper part. I probably should pull the actual motor and trans that I want to use out of the shed. So I can get rid of this floppy shifter bit and then maybe I can figure out the steering too. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to grab that motor. I'm going to bring it in. I'll at least throw it down. We can pull this stuff out. The other one's got an HEI, but I'm going to convert it to a points or I'll steal this unit. I'll put it on. Um, it's just got a turbo 350, so it should just bolt right up. Everything should just work. And uh, I think just start with some floor pan stuff. Yep, I think that's the plan. Let's grab a motor. The motor I'm probably going to use. And get, uh, get a floor and a firewall and we can get our pedal down. Maybe try to do the steering. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Let's make it happen. All right, well, it's pretty late. I've been semi helping Kyle with his car. He's kind of doing an LS swap, if you haven't seen that yet. Um, we got our motor in that we want to use. I'm a little hit and miss on, I don't dig all the ugliness that are these metric motors there, the carburetor and all that stuff. But I'm on the fence because I'd like to swap it out and put an old school carburetor but i don't even know if i really have any good four barrels and stuff so i was thinking of just swapping it and putting a two barrel on it but it's like if you're changing the intake a feller probably should just go about and put a four barrel on it seems kind of counterproductive so to say i mean they, but that said the motor is only a 305 turbo 350 nothing special about it yeah i'm still on the fence i don't know what i'm doing i don't know how to make this look cool because it's definitely not with all the smog everything attached to it but i don't know we'll get around to it and we'll figure it out not a big deal i uh second win is i've started actually you were watching me make my firewall so i still got to transfer this to a chunk of 14 gauge which is not a big deal it looks like it looks pretty straight in the sense that I'm actually going to be able to get right down to the frame rail with this thing. I'm not going to be able to do anything cool with it, but I guess we can do something with the paint. That's my take. Yeah. There's like more stuff going wrong than I think, so there might be a little more, a little more work needed with this thing yet. Seems okay on this side. This side I'm noticing, well, the fact that it's working, but I think... It's not perfectly straight. I think there's going to be a lot of tweaking yet, but eh, we'll deal with that after. That's tomorrow's project. And then the other big win is I was sure I had uh, a shoebox dash. With that said, 
I ended up in my old garage. I did find one, so that's kind of a like a huge win. Um, yeah. And there's random cool stuff attached to it, but but we do have this dash, so I think this would be pretty cool to narrow down and stick in the car. Uh, this cluster has been like totally murdered, but I do have one for some weird reason because I don't know. As weird as it is, I bought one at a garage sale of all places. And, hmm, where do I have it? I don't know now. I'm kind of thinking I got it in here. I've had it forever, but now I don't know for sure. This is Kaiser. Golly. That's the one. We're good. Somewhere though, I have this whole shoebox cluster. So, international. International. It's like super random. I know for some weird reason, I used to always have it sitting over here. I can't find it there. Therefore, I have one other spot, which is my old cabinet. And it might be sitting on there somewhere. I can't possibly imagine why I would have thrown something like that away. So I'm thinking it's over here. Unless it made it into the shed. Oh, that would totally suck if I did get rid of it. I can't see that though. It's got to be around here somewhere. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now I know I got it somewhere. I wouldn't throw something like that away. There we go. I knew it that I had it. So I have a, a new shoebox cluster sitting there. And look at that thing. I got it at a garage sale for like 10 bucks. So that's kind of a win. I don't know if anything actually works in it, but that's really not important. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, the speedo is kind of floating. Does that mean it actually turns? Absolutely not. Well, it'll look the part. That's what we're going to go for right now. We're going to sit there. That'll go in. I'm going to guess because of the T, we're probably going to lose like this much out of the middle of it, along with the speaker. Grill. But we might be able to fit something like super cool in the uh for the dash section of this thing i don't know let's see although i have all this weird janky stuff attached to it here that's kind of like screwing a feather over oh yeah this thing's gonna have to get narrowed so much holy look how wide that thing is <laughs> It's got to get narrowed and and shortened. That's nah, not a big deal. I mean, I guess the clock thing would be kind of neat, but I don't know. This is all kind of fluff in the middle anyway, so we can kind of make something work. Super cool. I think I want to totally do it. Oh, well. Nothing's going to happen tonight. I've been kind of like hunting around and been burned out with all this stuff, so... Yeah, we'll deal with it tomorrow. Tomorrow's a new day.
Well, <clears throat> I transferred my template to this piece of 14 gauge. We kind of trimmed, trimmed, trimmed. Got it pretty well there where we got this nice smooth firewall, which I don't know. It's okay. <laughs> I think it's kind of gross actually, but we'll uh, paint it up nice and make it fancy. I got to finish welding it in, but um, I'm not 100% sure that I have enough 14 gauge. I have this one sheet and I don't know if that's enough to do the front floor pans or not. So, and I want to make sure. So you see me cutting my cardboard template. That was working fine. And I have it around. I have like a rough idea how that's going to go. But I don't think I'm going to commit yet until I... Uh, um, I'm going to change the motor and the transmission over. Because I'm a little worried that the Turbo 350 is a little bigger. So I just want to make sure my measurements are good. So anyways, I think the plan right now is going to be to pull this motor and tranny out, put the one I want to use in, which is just this Turbo 350. So hopefully this works. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm wondering if this thing has a different tail shaft on it. I don't know. We'll measure the transmission length, make sure it's the same. Otherwise that would suck because then my um, uh, drive shaft isn't going to fit. And I have to pull this out. I'm just going to put a points one back into there. Hopefully I can pretty up the upside so it's not so gross to look at. But that's a future problem. Right now, we just want to get it mounted in there so we can get our floor front floor pens kind of right. Because I'll use the heavier gauge stuff on the floor just because well, I got it. And I don't really know what else to use that stuff for. So we'll start making the floor. We'll probably build some kind of a little bit of a grid structure underneath there, but that stuff's going to be pretty strong by itself. And uh, anyways, yeah, we'll do that. Well, let's do the motor first. Come back. Make sure my floors are still going to work. If they are, I'm going to cut them. And then at least we should have up to the, the seat, like mid-seat or something. From there, we can use a lighter gauge because it won't be that, that big of a deal at that point. Anyways. I'm going to lift this up, pop that out, and get the other motor in. That is the plan right now.
Well, we have, I've swapped the motors around. So this one's in loosey goosey, kind of filling the space. So it fits okay. Again, we're changing pulleys and pumps and all that. Steering box is loosely mocked up. I can kind of come up a little bit, but I'm not really digging how this master cylinder is gonna work. I'm not sure yet. I mean, I can make it work, but it's like really gotta be in the way of the motor kind of thing. Um, not too big of a deal because I can kind of take the, uh, I can flip this around so the oil fill is over here, but if you, uh, if a feller just mocks this up loosely, it's kind of like gonna be in a stupid place. It's like a guy almost needs to put a pedal assembly under the floor. Would be the best way about this. Uh, this is still not very pretty. This didn't quite work out the way I thought. I mean, it's usable, but I got to build some structure underneath it because this is just not going to cut it. The uh, which I knew that, but some of it's going to need some. I need to get some more one by one because I'm going to have to kind of come over here, out this way, and then come up to the front somehow. To tie in just so this has some meat to tie on to. Uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure because the way I did the wedge channel kind of screws a guy a little bit. I mean, this might get stronger if a guy builds the whole tunnel system, but for now, I was just hoping I could just dump it on there and it would work. And it might for the most part. I'm trying to keep stuff, I'm not too worried about the passenger side, but. The driver's side I'm trying to keep pretty tight because I do want to try to fit my feet, a steering wheel, and a brake pedal all in here. <laughs> uh, under floor is still looking like a good idea, but I don't know. We'll see. I want to clearance a little more around there because that's a little too tight, I think. Uh, I know you folks in the States can just leave that exposed and I don't know. I'd rather have it all covered. Back here, I want to trim these just so they match up with the floor and then we can kind of continue on with some theme or something going on here but i need to get more steel so i don't know if there's much else i can do right now i'll dig around and see if i have some more one by one i know i have some half inch maybe that'll be enough i don't know we will have to see because i think once it's tied there and zapped to the floor and there's a center part it's going to get really strong but I don't know for sure yet if that is going to work. And I don't know about this master. Maybe if I went with a smaller master cylinder, it might work. Not sure. I mean, in the end, we can make this work, but it just seems like things are going to get. Well, maybe not. I still really want this to sit above the firewall, but I think I just brought this all onto myself the way I made everything so tight. Well, I guess that wouldn't be too bad right there. Like it will go in another inch. Then we block off the back side, these ones, and just use these. Even if we have to go a wee bit high, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, there's enough busyness going on here and when the headers are there. I don't even know if you'll be noticed that. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, we got a lot of cleanup on this thing to do yet. Getting rid of a lot of junk. So maybe I'll still dawdle with this, see what I can do here to try to get this section in. Test fit with a seat, see how comfy it is. And uh, see where we get here yet.
so I can actually get into my trunk. Looks like I can actually, I can fill my fuel. So that's all right. Now we'll have to make a bracket, I guess, at some point for this. We can have the world's smallest trunk. I think we can fit like a lawn chair or something on there. <laughs> Maybe two lawn chairs we can fit in this trunk. So that worked out pretty good. I went, uh, you probably seen me fidgeting around with this thing. So I don't have any trunk hinges. So I took a stab at what might actually work and it worked out pretty good. I just did a bolt up into here. We can kind of do some adjustment. This thing will need some bracing or I got to do something yet, but at least for now it just works. And then the fuel tank is okay here. Like I'm pretty happy with it. I can fill it. Like I can still spin this thing. Like it should be able to go up a little higher. So what that means is then one of the next steps is we can actually get some steel kind of come out, build a shelf down so we can get this thing exposed into a different area. Um, I don't know if I want to do a steel frame and make stuff out of aluminum. I'm kind of, I don't know yet what I want to do with that. The, um, I'm thinking I want to do an aluminum sheet, like kind of roll around, follow this contour there, attach to the next one. This will be aluminum sheet down here. We still got to do some floor. This I decided to uh, tack this in. So it's, it's actually sort of tacked in. I want to try to build the tunnel. I can lift the body and build some, build some structure underneath it to try to beef this up. Cause this is just whatever, not good right now. I, uh, we kind of loosely mounted our pedal assembly which actually looks like it'll be okay because around this button is roughly where my steering column will come up so that's that'll work out actually okay i was trying it the steering wheel feels okay in here i'm pretty happy with that uh this thing will still need to be braced up into here but this isn't bad i think if i straighten this pedal out a little more then it gives me some room for a, a gas pedal on the side so that's okay Back here, we'll probably like just run some sheet metal up, but we'll do a couple, couple runs of some uh, more one by one. But I don't have very much, so I got to pick some up because I want to use a little bit underneath here. And I don't know. This we're gonna have to cut out because I feel this is not gonna be enough. So we'll probably step this up, or I'll make some kind of hoop there, just to give us some breathing room for the drive shaft. Right. That sound like a plan? You're nice and wet, eh? It's raining outside. Hmm? <laughs> so we got our motor in. We got our master cylinder on there, which is like super, super tight. I don't know if I'll go with this style. Maybe I'll go with a different style, give it a little more room, but I just switched the valve covers around. So we got there, but that puts the fill on this side, but that gives us all kind of room over here. So that's good. I'm still struggling with the steering box because the way this thing mounts is the bolts go in from the bottom. So I don't have a lot of height that I can go. So I'm just a little on the fence what I can do. Like we can go up a little bit, but not a heck of a lot. Like we can raise up a bit, but not really enough that we can get a bolt in there. So I might go up a bit but tilt it at an angle so I can get the one bolt off this side of the frame and then one will be on the inside and if I angle this up you can kind of just get a bolt in there and we can kind of do our business won't be too bad because we can just put a wobble joint on there to get to the steering column out then we'll just do a brace on the top and the bottom and whenever we figure out what we're doing for the dash that would be good oh yeah not too bad Hey bud, not too bad for a busy little night here, eh? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not sure where we're at with the video. This might actually bring this one to an end. I don't feel I got a lot done. We kind of scatterbrained all over the place on this one. <laughs> uh, but I got to get some material before we can kind of move on a little bit. Right? We're waiting on for some parts and uh, I got to get some more sheet metal. I probably got to pick up a sheet of 
aluminum. I'd like to do, like I say, I want to do aluminum inside, I think, because uh, you can kind of do the brushed aluminum or we could like bead roll stuff. I don't know. But I'd like to do the inside on aluminum, like the door panels. Uh, well, all the junk. It'd be kind of cool if it was all aluminum paneled stuff inside of there, I think. But, hey, we got our trunk lid on. That's nice. And we kind of know where our fuel tank's got to go, so I'm happy with that. Anyways, I think that's what we're going to call it, right, bud? Going to call her a night? You too? You too? Hmm? You two monkeys, eh? Well, we need a good brushing. All right, folks. I think that's uh, where I'm going to call this one. I want to uh, thank you folks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next one later.